on to one of my favorite workouts of all time and it's a big part of our Fabulous in February fitness challenge. You're going to be doing this workout once a week and it's going to be the workout that you're going to use to judge how your fitness levels are coming along throughout the month. So, really simple workout but intense. You're going to go 10 kettlebell swings into a 1 minute skip into a 30 second rest. Start wherever you can get to. If you can get to 4 sets, to five sets, wherever it is. If you get to that one set where you think you can't do one more, do one more. The only thing that's going to stop you is the quality of your of your kettlebell swings. So if you're getting to the point where you're feeling it in your lower back or you're, the quality just isn't there, then you are finished. So just leave that last one. Um, work your way up to 10 over the weeks. So if you get to 10 a lot sooner than you think, look at the intensity and see that your skipping is quick enough and intense enough. If it is, then what you're going to do is just change it up a little bit. Bring the rests down to 15 seconds or take the rests out completely and try and go continuous. Those of you that don't have um, a skipping rope, stick around at the end because I'll, I'll give you something else to do in the meantime. So let's go for it. I'm going to show you how this will look. 10 swings. Let's move that rope out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. Remember to stand nice and tall. Six, seven, shoulders strong, eight, nine, don't let it pull you, ten. All right, for the purpose of keeping this video short, my skipping is going to be 30 seconds. Here we go. So when you're skipping, keep your elbows close to your body and rotate the rope using your wrists. Something that will make the time go by quicker is count your skips. That way you'll also ensure that each set is at the same intensity as the one before and that you're not slowing it down. I'm just going to go as fast as you possibly can. Brilliant. So that's 30 seconds. Nice and quick. Now, if you don't have a rope, no excuse. You can still do this. Simply change it to high knees. So what you're going to do run on the spot, make sure your knees are high, and count those as well so that you know the ten intensity is there and it's, and it's uh, quick. So go for it. This is a brilliant workout. You're going to feel amazing when it's done. Enjoy it and good luck with your challenge.